god! Holy shit, this is a nice wallow! everyone so today we are heading out on a bit of a uh, walleye binge on a lake with a buddy of mine who I haven't seen in a couple months got the canoe and we're going for a bit of a I'm still on a canoe binge here so <laughs> this should be fun it's windy um, I brought the double paddles and we will see if we can hook up on some sizable walleye to possibly enter into the West Can Kayak Trail Summer Slam tournament that I am entered in this year. I entered uh, this tournament just to kind of like, honestly, not really for the prizes or anything like that, just to kind of like see what I'm capable of doing, seeing if I am capable of. Uh, uh, locating more sizable fish and have some fun while I'm at it. If I do well in the tournament, I do. If I don't, who cares? Just tournament. It's like 50 bucks buy-in. It's not really that big a deal. So anyway, uh, we are pretty much here. I just have to find where the put-off is into this lake. It is not a huge lake, but it is long. This should be fun. I've never actually fished this lake before. Did a little bit of digging for info last night. Let's see what happens. See you guys out on the water. Walleye are a species that I'm quite fond of and grew up fishing as a kid. Now I've grown to target many other species over the years, but last year I took a touch of a hiatus on walleye to further my knowledge in targeting trout on the fly both wild and stocked. Right. <laughs> but with future goals in mind, I've and decided that this year will be a big focus on walleye and pike on the fly. Breaking rods! <laughs> it just snapped! It must have. What the hell? Well, I guess I'm fly fishing for the rest of the day. Thank <laughs> you. 
roll today, man. Look at this beauty. I don't even know how big this sucker is. That's massive, man. Like, we'll find out. It's at least a 20. That's, that's at least a 20. If you were to ask me three years ago if I thought I'd be able to not just paddle against 25 km hour winds, but also be able to effectively fly fish in these kinds of conditions, I would have laughed at you. When it comes to developing skill sets that allow you to confidently fish and navigate waters in these kinds of conditions, there is no substitute for time on the water. Not only do you get confidence in your watercraft, you gain the abilities and find your limitations. Alright, we're finally making some headway up the back. I'm not going too far down because I will be forever trying to get out of this. You guys probably can't even hear me. I'm going to try and talk a little bit louder. But it is ridiculous. The winds are like 30, almost 40 km an hour winds. This is brutal. So I'm just kind of going up the shore here. I brought my double paddles just in case this. They're a little short, but they do the job better than my paddle is right now. So we're just going to keep this. I'm going to go up here where I get a little bit of a break from the waves. Set up in about I don't think it matters where we go right now, the fish are going to be pushed this way regardless. So even if they're not stacked, most likely the fish are going to pass by. So we might hook up on less fish, 
Well, one, I'll be safer. And two, I'll be closer to where I gotta put the boat, and I'm hungry. <laughs> I might even just stop fishing for a few minutes and actually just try and catch. like it you gonna oh! what are you please let it be a walleye I think it's a walleye am I right Yes! Oh, it's huge! Holy oh. shit! To be honest with you. Okay. We'll just let him go, okay? Yeah, that's that's a big fish. Weigh. That's gotta be like a three or four pound walleye. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. Nice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh <laughs> fist bump! Fist bump. <laughs> How big do you think it was, you say? I think it was at least Conservatively, 22 all day, but I think that was bigger. Okay, could be bigger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> could have measured him, but... That's okay, that's better let it go. Yes! They're huge! But I think it was bigger. It looked like it was close to like 23. I just, I hate saying, oh, it's a 24 inch fish, and everyone's like, dude, that's like an 18. <laughs> All day long. Oh. <laughs> what? Twister tail man. A grub with a twister tail. I got some. Do you want one? Yeah. Just whatever, I'm not using them anyway, so experiment, have fun. Well, I got, there's white, there's yellow, different colors. Yeah. yeah. White is generally white and yellow. White usually, yeah. white usually works pretty good. I think you have yellow, don't you? I don't know, I'm colorblind. Oh, uh, fuck, I what keep freaking it out. It's yellow, you got yellow on. It's like, this yeah, one. yeah. But that's not just the only reason you get better. 
It's also got a lot to do with putting yourself in uncomfortable situations that force you to adapt and get better. No. Full disclaimer, I'm not saying put yourself in danger without the knowledge of adapting to these situations. Just that without situations that force you to either go home or adapt, often learning to adapt will bring more success in the long run. I hope all of you have an incredible day. Thank you for watching. Life's an adventure. I go out and find yours.